hello everyone welcome to my channel now in this video i am going to discuss the topics for the long answer type questions that is the five marks questions uh, for the students of cbc board and other state boards like assam high secondary education council or the karnataka state board the west bengal board on, in that matter the students who are following the ncre textbook okay now in this video i have taken topics from four chapters that is namely chapter 9 chapter 10 chapter 4 and chapter 6 from which the five marks questions can be taken okay five marks questions can also come from other chapters but in this video i am going to discuss only these four chapters okay now from chapter 9 that is the ray optics and optical instruments you may have a question based on the phenomena of total internal reflection okay here you may have to be asked uh, the, the conditions required for total internal reflection then the applications of total internal reflections that is the natural applications like as in mirage or the other applications like uh, optical uh, fibers and uh, the total reflecting prisms okay so this is given in page number 319 and 323 then there will may be a five mark question based on lens makers formula the derivation of lens makers formula and uh, derivation of power of lens and definition of power of lens this is given in page number 325 and 328 okay now it is also seen that usually the 5 mass question is often broken like 3 plus 2, 3 mass question will, can be a theory based question where they can ask any one of the two and uh, then they may ask you a numerical based on this topic okay. So you may try numericals on this lens makers formula also. Now then you have this prism, now prism they may ask you this is a quite common question this has been often repeated but this is very uh, important this derivation refractive index mu is equal to sin a plus delta m by 2 divided by sin a by 2 okay now this is given in page number 330 and page 330 and 331 okay now in the exercise based on prism there is there's two question one is deviation without dispersion and dispersion without deviation you may also go through that question in the exercise okay then you have this human eye various components of the human eye the function of those components then they may ask you an about defects of vision any one of the defects and then the, uh, how to rectify that defect so the, if this question is asked of from human eye or defect of vision definitely it is going to be for three marks and then there will be two mark question numerical question okay then similarly the, all the instruments are very important one there is a different chance that one instrument may come in your examination either it is simple microscope with its magnification compound microscope with its magnification or telescope both refracting type and cassegrain type now there may be one part uh, theory question based on any one of the optical instrument and one part of numerical based on magnification calculation of magnification so you must go through the numericals also based on this optical instruments okay next is chapter 10 that is the wave optics wherein you may be asked like uh, superposition of waves the mathematical deduction then the resultant expression for resultant intensity Okay, this is given in page number 360 and 361. Then Young's double slit experiment, highly important topic and then the calculation of fringe width. This is given in page number 362, 364. Okay, now from this topic, they may ask in numericals. The probability of numericals is also very high from this to topic, Young's double slit experiment. Okay, then resolving power of microscope. This is given in page number 374. How this resolving power dependent on wavelength and other factors that is also given so you must go through this topic okay next is moving chapter 4 moving charge and magnetism now here it is ampere circuital law and then application of ampere circuital law for evaluation of magnetic field due to a straight wire and the graph of variation of magnetic field with distance from the straight wire okay this is given in page number 147 and 150 then we have torque on highly important topic torque on current loop okay this page in page 157 then there may be a numerical based on this concept torque that is given in example 4.11 page 159 okay then the conversion of galvanometer into ammeter or galvanometer into voltmeter there may be question on sensitivity of the instrument or the current sensitivity or the voltage sensitivity this is given in page number 163 and 165 there may be a question on uh, numerical question also based on this topic one question is in example 4.13 then exercise two questions are there 4.27 and 4.28 you must go through these examples 
then we have the chapter 6 the electromagnetic induction okay now in this motional emf page number 212 this motional emf al motional emf page number 212 then power supplied by external source is equal to power dissipated as heat is equal to b square l square by r this derivation so expression for motion emf e equal to blv that derivation and the derivation of this part is highly important it is given in page number 212 then there is a numerical example 6.6 .6 and 6.7 how when the conductor is moving the magnetic field how much the magnetic emf will be induced so this motion emf there may be a question half part of motion emf 3 marks and 2 marks for numericals okay then AC generator, very important topic, page number 224. Then self-induction, energy of self-induction, then self-inductance of a solenoid, this complete deduction, page number 222 and page number 223. So, okay, this deduction, self-inductance of a solenoid and then numerical based on that self-inductance may also be asked. So these are the four chapters uh, from the two volumes I have selected. Then in the, my next video I will be giving, there will be few more videos wherein I will be discussing another other chapters from which 5 marks question can also be taken. Then I will also give chapters from which 3 marks questions can come and probable 3 marks questions. So I hope this video will be beneficial for, with regard to your preparation towards your board examinations. My best wishes to you. Good luck.